what's up guys welcome back to the channel in today's video we're going to replace the ear filter on this 2500 odyssey and we're going to replace the intake hose to also this hose right here yeah the other day i feel my van misfire too a, 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 um, a few times you know what i mean and i was like what's that you know what i mean and i popped the hood and i look and i see where this boot is tear right around here have a big tear like it's falling off you know what i mean so we have a vacuum leak right there so i added this one offline and this air filter also so we're just gonna go ahead and replace both of them right now real quick this is only gonna take maybe like 20 minutes to get this done you can do it in like 10 minutes but you know i'm videoing and all of that so it's gonna take a little bit more time all right so let me go ahead and show you guys how to replace this real quick okay guys so let me show you guys what i'm talking about the ear, thing, ear intake hose this is where it break right here if you guys can see that right around here it break and here also it bursts you know what i mean so we have a big vacuum leak going on right there so it make the vehicle misfire sometime so we're just gonna go ahead and unplug this wire from here take it out of the ear intake right here hose right here all right and we're gonna need uh pliers to pull this clamp right here and push it back so we can take that out yeah let's push it back like that use a 10 socket and remove that 10 bolt right here Okay, so then um, go ahead and pull these screw right here. We have four of them. Let's get a Phillips screwdriver. Go ahead and pull it like that. Let's go ahead and pull all four just like that. But before we move this gearbox, we're gonna go ahead and take this piece out because this piece can be real hard to take out. So let's pull it back like that. So it's out. It's out, guys. Let's pull it out of here. See that? All right. Go ahead and take these screws out. So we have one back here, one up here, and one here. The four corner. We have four screws. Let's go ahead and back those out. So let's see if we can take this up. This one on the screw somewhere. So it's off, guys. Okay, put that over there for now. Go ahead and take out this ear filter, just like that. It's dirty. So I'm gonna get a rug, get a wet rug, and wipe out all of this dirt from in here. Clean it out. In the chopper body right here. You can get a piece of rug and clean that out before you put on the, the new hose. You know what I mean? Get a rug and spray some carburetor spray on it. Or you can use sea foam. So I have this sea foam right here. So we just spray it on the rug. Spray it on the rug like that. And then you can just clean out in, the, in here just like this. See that it's dirty so i'm gonna put the camera down guy and guys and finish clean that up so okay guys i'll go ahead and clean up the box as you guys can see clean up the chocolate body so now we're gonna get um 
this ready. Ear intake, ear intake boot goes right here. This is the new one. So we just go ahead and take this old one off and install this new one. You know what I mean? It's easy guys. push this back on and reinstall everything so this is the old one guys intake holes so let's when I use back this clamp so let's go ahead and take that off Go ahead and just see if we can catch this on real good. So okay guys, I just get it back in place, bring back down these screws. You know what I mean? So around here now we're just gonna push back these screws inside here. is the hardest thing to deal with this hose right here. Let's push it in like that. Here's the clamp missing off of here. I'm gonna find that the clamp. Okay guys so I just go ahead and reinstall back everything. Look on about this wire right here and the sensor right there. You know what I mean? Retighten up this 10, 10 nuts, 10 bolt right here. Retighten that. 
So your, top, your clamp can be tight on the um, chakra body right here. Tighten back your ear box. So we have a new ear filter there. This is the old one right here. Let's put this in the box right here and throw that in the trash. Okay. And then we're gonna install back this engine cover. Okay guys, so that is how you install the new ear filter and your new um, intake hose and stuff like that, you know what I mean? And your Honda Odyssey, all right? So guys, we have a lot more stuff to come. I'm gonna install some new router on the front because whenever time I'm going fast and I'm braking, I feel like the, the, the steering wheel is shaking like this. You know, you know what I mean? So it can be the router, and it can be the CV axle and stuff like that. The CV axle on this side and the driver side, the boot them is burst. So I added a new one, I get it already. So I'm gonna make a video show you guys how to install a CV axle. And I'm gonna make a video also showing you guys how to install the new rotors. So these are the new rotors that I'm gonna install on the front guys. Yeah, this is what I'm gonna install on the front, you know what I mean? Yeah. But I'm gonna make a separate video for that, you know what I mean? Cause it's freezing cold right now. I'm gonna show you guys how much snow we have outside right now as I speak. So see here guys, there is a bunch of snow on the ground. It's melting right now. You know what I mean? But it's freezing cold. Yeah, so after I install these new rotors and that new CV axle and stuff like that, and I'm, I'm gonna install some 22 inch rims and this on the other seat I already have them I have them here so okay guys I'm just trying to tell you that we have a lot of stuff to come you know what I mean the on the um, E90 BMW I'm gonna do the park brake the park brake one to adjust you know what I mean it's not really working like that so I'm gonna work on that you know what I mean yeah but um I don't know which one I'm gonna work on first you know what I mean if it's I think I'm gonna work on the Honda Odyssey first change the road and stuff like that because it starts snowing and you want to make sure your front end is good in the snow you know what i mean so i'm going to install these new rotors and we have new brake pads to install to also all right so thank you guys for watching see you guys in the next one